Season's greetings from the Government Information Service, Channels 12 and 22. Fellow Grenadians, it is that special time of year again. A time that so many of us, especially the children, look forward to for the entire year. Yes, it is Christmas time. The time of year when the air is filled with that special feeling of love, peace, joy, hope, giving and sharing. This feeling is seen in the wondrous faces of the children and in the hopeful eyes of the aged and less fortunate. It overflows in the hearts of cheerful givers. At Christmas, we celebrate the birth of Christ with prayer, feasting and merriment. We are reminded that the values we share should far outweigh whatever differences we have as a people. The twinkle of a child's eye, the joy of a grandmother's laughter, the love in the hearts of mothers and fathers for their children, all these blessings should be unwrapped on Christmas morning and then lived throughout the year. At the heart of the Christmas story is the unending human longing for peace on earth and goodwill towards men, which the coming of Christ promised. All around us, however, events continue to occur which makes achieving this aspiration seem more and more unreachable. Paramount among these events to which I refer is the ongoing world recession which has severely impacted on the Grenadian economy. This recession has created fundamental challenges for government which includes finding ways to resume and sustain economic growth while reducing high unemployment and poverty and restoring debt and fiscal sustainability. At the same time, trying to transform our economy to a more diversified economy that is resilient to external shocks and capable of generating new and higher income opportunities for our people. In addition, the lives of people across the nation and the world at large continue to be threatened by this traumatic occurrence and forecasts as to when it will end seem uncertain. Fellow Grenadians, we have to continue to be resilient and to seek opportunities for the challenges that present us. As Peter Drucker so rightfully said, good executives focus on opportunities rather than problems. Problems have to be taken care of, of course, they must not be swept under the rug. But problem solving, however necessary, does not produce results. They prevent damage. Exploiting opportunities produce results. End of quote. This time of year is also the time when we evaluate the outgoing year and set our goals and priorities for the year ahead. As we reflect on the year that has passed and approach the new one, I invite you to ponder on what we can do as a people to continue to make a difference in our country. As Mahatma Gandhi said, you must be the change you want to see in this world. To my cabinet colleagues, I say, we are like a great family who share a common vision, that of improving the lives of every Grenadian man, woman, and child. I thank you for your steadfast support. To my ministry, I thank you for your hard work and unwavering support. It has been a rather challenging year, but you rose to the challenge, and for that, I thank you. To my constituents of St. George Northeast, I will continue to represent you to the best of my ability as long as you would have me. I'm indebted to you for your trust, your love, and your understanding. You have been like a family to me. I thank you very much. And to all Grenadians, local and abroad, on behalf of my ministry and my family, I wish that this Christmas will be a time of family tradition, a time of bonding, sharing, and showing how much you care for each other. Let us take the time to give thanks for the blessings of the year just past, to rejoice in our children, and to enjoy the company of family and friends. It is our tradition, it is our family, it is the connections we make and we feel that define the meaning of this holiday season. 
And as we all celebrate the season, let us remind ourselves once again why Christ came into this world, not to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. Taking from his example, let us make this season one of giving, sharing, and selflessness, despite the many challenges that we may face economically and otherwise. Let us resolve to build a future and a country where everyone learns to love one another and live together in harmony, where our children know true joy and where our hopes for peace, joy, love and prosperity for all are finally realized. I wish you happy holidays. I thank you. May God bless you. Season's greetings from the Government Information Service, Channels 12 and 22.